Now that y'all know what ADHD really is and the differences in the brain, let's talk about what executive dysfunction looks like in everyday life, because it's not just specific to people with ADHD. Executive dysfunction can show up in ADHD, autism, learning disabilities, anxiety, depression, and even as a result of chronic stress. And importantly, executive dysfunction can show up both mentally and physically. Mentally, it can look like struggling to start tasks, losing track of steps, and getting stuck when switching between activities. Physically, it can include motor symptoms like restlessness, fidgeting, impulsive movements, and poor coordination. It can also include sensory differences like being over or under sensitive to touch, noise, or light. In school, it might look like knowing that the homework is due, but not being able to start, not because you don't care, but because organizing the steps feels impossible. At work, it can look like missing deadlines or hyper-focusing until you burn out. And in relationships, it can look like zoning out or forgetting to reply. Not because you're disinterested, but because your brain's bandwidth is maxed out. Understanding executive dysfunction can help you build strategies that actually support how your brain works, not how it should. Check out the rest of the Prefrontal Cortex 101 series that goes into executive functions in depth. If this video was helpful, like it, share it, save it, drop a comment below, and follow for more brain science made crispy clear.